are a lot of ways that you can win at tennis, but generally they come under two categories. You either play the defense or the offense. And you usually settle as early as you can in your development what style you're going to play, and that's according to your speed, the type of serve you have, things such as that. Now, if you think that the serve and volley game is the style for you, let's take a lesson from one of the best. He's won many great matches with this style of play. And that's Roscoe Tanner. Well, basically, the offensive style of game, which is closest to my heart, <laughs> is basically the attacking style. I find that, for me, the style that I use to do that is the serve and volley type of game. It's really moving at the other player, picking out their weaknesses, and attacking them, being aggressive. And I find it's much more enjoyable to go out and try to take charge of the points and win the match versus waiting for the other guy to lose. In the tools that you need for having a, a good attacking game or a good aggressive game, you really start off, I mean, it's the obvious one, but you gotta have a good serve. That's the part I like about it. But you must have a good serve because you want to get a few aces. As soon as you get an ace, that intimidates a guy. Or the idea is to have a great first serve so that the guy, even though he guesses right, pops the ball up and hits a weak return. I, I particularly like it very much when the guy's always getting his racket on my serve but hitting bad returns. Because that means he's guessing right, but he's really having trouble with what I'm doing. So then, first you must have a good serve. The second thing you've got to have is a good, strong volley. You want to be quick around the net. You've got to have quick hand-eye reaction. And you've got to know that in the volley, the idea is to use the other guy's power. You've got to come in, take a short stroke, and angle the ball away. You must have a consistent overhead for an aggressive game, an attacking game, because when you come to net, the player doesn't necessarily have to try to pass you. They can always lob. And the idea is if you have a good, solid overhead, you don't necessarily have to have a gigantic one or put the ball away every time. But you just want to have a consistent, solid one, well-placed. You don't have to hit it hard. Just keep them on the defensive with it. Then they really feel like there's nowhere they can go. Having a good approach shot, a good, solid, strong approach shot, is an essential part of an attacking game. You've got to be able to recognize a short ball and move in positively. One thing that so many people do is they see a short ball, they can't decide whether to come in. So the first thing you do is you step up, you hit it, then you watch your shot trying to decide if it's good enough to come in then you start to come in. You can't do that. You've got to decide before you hit the ball that you're going to run in behind the shot. So what you do, you hit the shot and go. The better the approach shot you hit, the weaker shot you're going to get back from your opponent so you can put it away easier at the net. One of my favorite things to do to attack another player is to take their second serve and come in. This tactic is great for the club player to use also, but one key point you must remember is when you're taking the second serve and coming in, you've got to decide beforehand, just the same as a regular approach shot. You want to watch the ball closely, hit your ball, but have decided before you hit it that you're going to go in. In, in talking about the attacking game and different surfaces in which it's effective, I think you'll find the faster surfaces, like grass or a good, fast, hard court, are the best surfaces for attacking and being aggressive. However, you'll find that most players, at least for me, an example, I play to my personality. And so I do attack even on clay. If you attack even on a very slow clay court, it may be effective because the person you're playing against may have some glaring weaknesses that you can really attack. Also, you must have stamina to really play this type of game because you've got to be relentless. You've got to keep moving. You've got to have a lot of mobility. The idea is to get into the net as far as you can to try to get better angles for your volley. What do you do when you find that you're using this style of game and your opponent's passing you all the time? Well, first, you change your game a little bit. You slow it down a little bit, you stay back, you pick yourself a little bit better time to come in. You hit a little bit stronger approach shot, you maybe try the opposite corner, so you just take away the shot that's been working against you, then see if he can hit the other one. If he can hit the other one, then you have to change your game again. When I'm in the middle of a tough match, out on the circuit, and I try to think about different ways to break down my opponent's game when they're giving me trouble, I, I start thinking about where am I going to hit my placements? What am I going to do to hit winners to break down their game? Uh, one of the things you try to do is look for the short high ball. You try to keep hitting the ball deep. Eventually, they'll hit the ball high and short. Then you come in hitting it deep to one of the corners, generally to their backhand side, and then you move in tight to the net looking for a ball that you can angle off with a volley. Oh. This section is L-rated. All you left-handers should really realize what an advantage we really have out on the court. One big natural advantage that a left-hander has over a right-hander when they play is the natural motion of our slice serve. It pulls them away. It pulls 
towards their backhand side. And then they start cheating over to that side a little bit, trying to cover it. So then all you have to do is hit the ball over in the wide corner of the deuce court, and you have an ace. Then the player begins to wonder, what's he got to do against this left-hander? Then you have our forehand cross-court approach shot. It leads right into their backhand corner. Then we have the backhand approach. So you slide it down the line, and it goes into the right-hander's backhand again. If you really examine the natural shots that a left-hander will hit, then you'll find that we really pull them out of the court on the backhand side. All of our shots are geared to their weaknesses, and all their shots are geared to our strengths. So we really have them in a big disadvantage. Most players try to implement some percentages into their game, and so they don't always go for winners on every shot. And neither do I. But I think you'll find in your game that it's a lot more fun when you hit winners every so often. Just go out and try it sometime to hit a winner on the court and see how it feels. And watch how bad it makes the other person feel. At least they have to go pick up the ball. Roscoe sure is right. It's a lot of fun to play the serve and volley game. But if you're going to play it, I suggest you have a very strong serve, maybe a really good approach shot, and a volley to close off the points.